first we need to calibrate the camera. You'll need to do this if you ever change the height of the camera above the work or if you change the lighting or if the camera gets rotated for any reason. Calibration is fairly simple, you just need a, a dot on a piece of clean white paper preferably about one millimeter diameter. The dot you see here on the screen is a little bit on the small side but it's adequate. Um, don't use a ballpoint pen or a pencil because they don't leave a very good image. Either print the dot or use a felt tip or drafting pen or something like that. Something that uses a liquid ink. Um, right, so we just hit make sure in calibration mode and then hit run. If you find it hunts around and won't actually lock on, drop the feed rate. This is just doing initial calibration to work out the approximate camera angle and scaling. And then it checks the, the angle again a bit more accurately. Whoops! It obviously didn't like it, so it's going to try again. This happens sometimes. Usually due to camera shake, because my camera is not very well attached. It's tied on with a bit of uh, insulation tape. And there you go. It's also calibrated for lighting, because as, as you can see it's on this camera it's a bit dark around the edges. So after calibration it's a lot clearer. It's, it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's a lot closer. Right, I'll run through the controls. Um, smoothing. This effectively blurs the edges. It's surprising how little effect it has on accuracy. Uh, the main, main thing you'll notice is corners get a bit more rounded but it does help a lot on if edges are a bit rough. The only thing you have to be a bit careful of is if you look down at the CPU load it can get quite high if you turn the smoothing up too high. Roughly about there is fairly good. Brightness. This is actually slightly the wrong name for it but um, the edge tracing converts your image to pure black or pure white and brightness controls the threshold level. So if we go to mask that is your pure black and pure white. Actually we can see the effect of smoothing here as well. There. If the brightness is too low, then you'll get an, get an effect like that. And if it's too high, which we don't actually get with the, this image because it's a very clean image, you'll start losing the black. You have to experiment a bit with the brightness. Um, mixed is quite a handy mode because it's a combination of the mask and the, the original image. So you can see fairly easily when things are going wrong. Okay, um, source color. The obviously the source original image is color, but sometimes you'll find, due to the, the colors of what, what you're working with and the contrast, it's sometimes better to use white just one channel on this image because it's a nice clean image on, on white paper with a black text. It doesn't really make any difference. Um, once we display original image, obviously the original image, processed, that's after smoothing, and brightness correction and whichever channel you've selected. Mask is the pure black and pure white. This is what it actually uses to trace. And then mixed, as I mentioned before, is a combination of the, of the two. Right, so, so to, to trace an outline, put it in edge following mode and then run. Feed rate controls how fast it traces. Servo gain the machine is always trying to find, follow the, the end of the look ahead, the red line, and it uses a servo loop. If you turn the servo gain up too high, you see it, it starts losing track of where it is, or it runs into the edge. If this circle ever hits the edge, it'll stop. So I'll drop the servo gain back down again and try running again. Oops. Try it again. There we go get it back into the center. Because it stops with an error it just froze the, froze the display um, so to get the cursor back in the beginning you can go run and then stop it again. That brings the cursor back in, into the middle. The cursor here is roughly where it's actually doing its scanning. So we'll run it again. If the server gains too low it just everything slows right down and you can see we're getting very close to the edge that way. So on this machine, servo gain about half seems to work quite well. Oops, come on. Right, so if we let it run, you 
will, it will eventually get to the edge of the, um, the end of the uh, trace and come up with a message. Do you want to keep the traced edge? So in this case, yes. And then what we can do is we can go in and trace the inside of this letter A. So again, we jog to the edge. You can see the, the cursor jumps to the edge and then hit run. Keep the traced edge, and then there's an O here as well, so we'll trace that one. Oops, too far. And then run. And keep that traced edge. So that's traced the, the outline of the text and the two insides. Once we've finished, just file, save and save the file. And that's it.